Hi guys, welcome. Okay, quick backstory before I get started. I am shooting this video. I'm dedicating it to one of my subscribers. Her name is Marie. She's a native speaker of Russian, but she lives in a place in the world where she doesn't speak Russian very often anymore. She found my video on how to switch keyboards on your iPhone, right? You can go into the settings. That has over 10,000 views. Thank you guys. I will link that either in the description or at the end of this video. And it makes it really easy to do Duolingo on your iPhone because once you've activated the keyboard for the language you're working on, the Duolingo app automatically recognizes that and it really enhances your Duolingo experience. Now today I'm doing Duolingo on my PC and that's because I'm trying to post this on YouTube in landscape mode and I can't do that on my iPhone. Used to be able to, but I can't anymore. I don't really like doing it on my PC because I only have 16,000 lingots, but on my iPhone I have 80,000 gems. And the other reason is that I don't have a Russian keyboard. I don't have a Russian keyboard, right? So I don't have the same flexibility to switch between keyboards that I have on my iPhone. And again, I love that about iPhone and Duolingo, great features. So I've been working on Spanish here, uh, trying to get myself up, level up to level two. And so let's go back to Russian because I promised my Marie that I would do a language, a lesson in Russian. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I got the golden owl for a second time by leveling up all lessons to, from level one to level two. And it took me kind of a long time. I don't know a lot of digital vocabulary. I don't know a lot of vocabulary. I don't really speak Russian that well. So let's try, I'm not necessarily trying to make the owl cry. Let's do participle, let's see what this is. Let's go ahead and try to level up to level three. That's a, really the only way to make the owl cry. This opera, uh, was written in the uh, tw um, 18th century. This opera was written in the 18th century. Это опера написана в 18 веке. Веке веке. Это опера написана в 18 веке. Веке. We know the children who just left the store. It's going to be которые, uh, которых мы знаем детей. Только что вышедших из магазина. Do you want to say, мы знаем детей? Женщина, пьющая чай. Моя жена. The woman drinking tea is my wife. Женщина, пьющая чай. Моя жена. I have never seen a talking dog. Я никогда. Видела. Я никогда не видела говорящую собаку. That should be a feminine voice, by the way, a female voice. Я никогда не видела говорящую. Я вижу девочку, рисующую волка. Я вижу девочку, рисующую волка. A girl drawing a wolf. This poet will never be forgotten. Этот поэт никогда не будет забыт. Читающие дети лучше пишут. Children who read write better. Читающие дети лучше пишут. In English, it's almost more poetic to say it in Russian because you know if you were to try to translate that a little bit more literally, I, I don't think one could argue that there's no such thing as literal translate, translation. Reading children better read. No, reading children better write. Children who read write better. See, that's a really good translation. Good job. You wouldn't want to try to go one-to-one -one unless you were trying to be poetical. Or sound like Yoda. When was that building built? Было построено здание. Создание. 
когда было, когда оно было построено. Let's try it. Well, they gave it to me. Сделано в Китае. I see a man drinking beer. Yeah. Я вижу мужчину пьющего пиво. Техника, сделанная в Японии, продается вон. The uh, техника, сделанная в Японии, продается вон там. The gadgetry that is made in Japan is sold over there. Technica, сделанная в Японии, продается вон там. How should I, ladies and gentlemen, how should I say technica in, in English? Gadgetry is not correct, you know, I'm just, it's not right. Gadgetry is not the word. I don't know what word to use, the, the electronic. I'm going to say the gadget. The technics made in Japan is sold over there. What the hell is that? What the heck is that? I'm going to report and I'm going to say my answer should be accepted. And I'm going to submit that. And let's go to, to discuss. Now, one of the bummers about the iPhone is, is you can give a discussion a thumbs up or not, but you can't really contribute. That ain't English. All right, let's get back to the lesson. I knew they weren't going to give it to me. Все уже забыто. Все уже забыто. Can't type. Long day. Все уже забыто. Девочка, живущая тут, ходит в мою школу. The girl who lives here walks to my school. The girl who lives here. That, that was wrong. I'm going to make the owl cry. I hate the passive, passive voice in any language. Did you see the lady sitting in the chair? My answer should have been accepted. And we sit in chairs. We don't sit on chair. Well, you, you can sit in or on a chair if both are right. Sit, in that, sit down in that chair right there. Let me show you how it's done. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. Дай мне стул. Сделанный вчера. Give me the chair that was made yesterday. Человек, пишущий эту книгу, никогда не был в России. I wonder if they would accept it if I said it's never been to Russia because we do say that. It did, it did, it did accept it. The person writing this book has never been to Russia. That's really what I started to say. They're both right. Never been to Russia. Играющая футбол из нашей школы. The girl who's playing soccer is from our school. Ты знаешь эту девочку, играющую в теннис? You know this girl who's playing tennis? Человек, написавший песню. Известный композитор. Person who's writing this play is a well-known... What's the matter with you? The person who wrote... Oh, it's a song, not a play. <laughs> Man, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, guys. I'm about to make the owl cry, Marie. <laughs> This is my punishment for, <laughs> for saying my Russian has gotten better. Ugh, painful. I made the owl cry. Sorry, Marie. Yes, I've seen stall. Хуже говорить по русски. Хуже и хуже. Embarrassing. Thank you. Thanks for watching anyway.